Today I'm going to be going over the best NVIDIA control panel settings for gaming to get the best performance in 2025. Now this is going to work for every single game. You are going to boost your FPS and whether you are on NVIDIA or not, you can still take something from this video. Yes, a lot of these settings can be translated and mirrored to AMD Radeon settings or whatever GPU control panel you have. So if this helps, drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff and let's get straight into it. So first of all, we need to locate our NVIDIA control panel. Now to do that, you can simply right click your desktop and it will probably be here. If not, you can type it in. I've just spelled it wrong. But yeah, you can type it in like this, NVIDIA control panel. And if it still isn't here, but you definitely have an NVIDIA GPU, what you want to do is go into the Microsoft Store and you can download it from there. So to make it very clear, I'm going to show this in the fastest way possible and give you guys just all the best settings without taking too much of your time. So starting off within the 3D settings right here, you want to go to adjust image settings with preview. And just to be safe, we're going to go to use my preference emphasizing and drag this all the way down. It should either be in the middle by default or maybe you've got on quality which is crazy but drag it down to performance and press apply once you have done that you can go back to use the advanced 3d image settings make sure you do this by the way and then press apply and then press take me there now it should take you into this manage 3d settings tab what we want to do is essentially copy all the settings but it isn't that simple there will be some that are very you know user specific it depends on your hardware so i do have some very in-depth videos on this but to put it simply first of all image scaling turn this off you don't need it and if you do need it or you think Think you need it you probably don't need it because if you want the best performance and you're trying to scale your image to get a higher resolution using a lower resolution will give you the best performance and as we are technically not here to improve your game quality yeah have this on off ambient inclusion off these are like some of the must-haves right have these on off ambient inclusion anisotropic filtering i always said that wrong anti-aliasing all of the anti-aliasing ones have them off background application max refresh rate have that turned off cuda gpus have that on all if you have this option cuda system Sysmem fallback policy, driver default. This is the safest option. DSR factors off. Low latency mode. Now, this is a very, very important one. Per tests, a lot of people find that you do want this turned on, but you don't want it turned on or set to ultra. I would that quite complicated. You don't want it set to ultra, basically. You want to have it just set to on. Now, you can try this. It may be different per system, but generally speaking, having this on ultra actually does the opposite and will actually induce input lag, at least compared to the on option. I, I guess if you compare it to the off option, yeah, it will still help, but not as much as the on option, which, you know, sounds counterintuitive. It isn't. You will have an option in game called NVIDIA low reflex or reflex low latency mode. You now in game, you want to set that to on plus boost. Ideally have it on on plus boost. And that paired with this on on and not having this on ultra is going to be the best for reducing latency. Hopefully that makes sense. Now moving on, max frame rate off. You don't want to cap your frame rate at any point here. You can do that in game if you need to. Multi frame sampled AA off. These are very, you know, they're nuanced features. They're things that, you know, you don't need for the best performance. If you want the best performance, you don't turn these on. This is for like the best quality. A lot of these are best quality settings and not best performance settings. That's why we are disabling most of them here. OpenGL GDI compatibility have it on auto. OpenGL rendering GPU, set this to your GPU. So it may be on auto select. This isn't like a make or break, but you're better off just selecting your GPU to be safe. Power management mode. Of course, we don't want any power saving features on because they will limit our performance. So have this on for maximum performance which, you know, it's, it's in the title, it's in the name. Preferred refresh rate, of course, highest available. You don't want to have this application controlled because it may try and lower your refresh rate, increase your input delay. Because of course, if you have a lower refresh rate, everything is moving at a slower rate, which in turn will affect your physical response time. Shader cache, a lot of people will say have this on like one of the highest options, like which isn't unlimited, so like 100 gigabytes. But you know, for the most part, you're going to be safe on unlimited. You won't really have a problem with this. If you feel you have a problem with this, which you again, probably won't be able to tell and honestly just set it to unlimited but if you if you're if you're worried do it on 100 but for the best performance have this on unlimited i i don't know people complain like some people will say oh have it on like unlimited is dangerous or like for the most part if you're keeping your system relatively you know clean like you're clearing out your system you're maintaining it per se and you're also updating your drivers and and keeping on top of stuff unlimited is completely fine and i say that particularly because i think every time you update your driver your shader cache actually resets which means you have to build this up and actually that's why 
why when you update your driver initially what will happen is you will actually have some fps drops your performance won't be good for a while while your shader cache kind of builds up and then it will get you know very very good texture filtering have this on on this is a little bit different so this anastropic too i can never say that but filtering option you want this one on on negative lod bios have that on allow texture filter and quality high performance i think out of these three this is like the only one you really will need to change i think the rest are default trilinear opt optimization i'm really butchering these words on threaded optimization this is again quite a debated one have this on auto for the most part your game is going to decide what it's doing here it's going to decide how this is going to work and it's going to be different for every system so if you have a low-end gpu you actually may be better having this one off but of course you can you know just test it you can enable it per game or enable it on your system entirely if you are you know focused on gaming primarily and you mainly just play video games on your system you can see which works better for you i know that's really annoying to hear but that's primarily why i keep mine on auto but i think in terms of like fortnite i have this turned on like it is enabled so do with that as you will triple buffering turn off vertical sync off 100 percent you don't want that on unless you have like a system where you're just about scraping 60 fps and you may need it in that case i made a whole video on this it's, it's too much to discuss in this video but i made a whole video about you know g-sync versus v-sync versus free sync and if you're interested check that out after this one all right virtual reality pre rendered frames have this on one this on off uh vulcan open gl preset these are all like i think these are all related to virtual reality as it, as it you know clearly says and they're probably not useful for you whatsoever so yeah have them on the default options i believe these are the default options now some more interesting stuff what we can do and also by the way to clarify before people comment i did not save them because i've already done them so it would just be futile now this is something that some of you will be able to access it's actually you know you may not be able to see it currently but if you go down to i believe it is desktop and enable developer settings i believe this will show up or maybe it shows up by default and this one will show up actually that makes more sense yes i'm, I'm completely wrong this here will show up but actually i don't know if everyone has this nonetheless what you want to do this x settings have this set to your gpu and developer we may as well go down to that now because i'm on the topic of it um you may, you'll have this extra little tab after and after enabling this and just have it on allow access to gpu performance counters to all users all right now going back up to display kind of went off track a little bit there change resolution have this on your refresh rate to its highest refresh rate so whatever the highest option is of course and have this set on the native resolution so for most of you that'd be 1920 by 1080 scroll down a lot of people don't do this and it's not mentioned in most videos but very important you want to use the nvidia color settings and just copy what i've got here so desktop color uh depth highest and output dynamic range on full i think by default this is on limited so have it set to full and not limited adjust desktop color settings this is completely optional these are this is what i use i think these are really good but i also have a full video on this if you want to watch it this is not going to change your fps for example by any means going down now skipping a few because these don't really do anything for us adjust desktop size and position for the most part you want to have this scaling mode on no scaling at least if you are not using a stretch resolution and most of you will not be perform scaling if you can on your display if you only got gpu you probably have an outdated monitor and it's going to give you a little bit more input lag compared to performing scaling on uh, your display so if you can upgrade your monitor and if you you know it's not a big deal one of my my second monitor for example if i click into here only has gpu i don't use it for gaming so i'm good as i don't know why i tried to relate but yeah for the most part display you want to have this on display it will help a ton and why not while i'm here i'll show you this pointless because it's default <laughs> And maybe I've changed something here, but ideally I would avoid it. You don't ever want to be using any like super resolution or high dynamic range settings because they're going to cause performance issues. I think actually all of these will cause some kind of latency to your display, which is not recommended. But I don't know if I've mentioned this already. I feel like I did, but I have a full video on monitor settings as well. I've literally got a video on everything, guys. So go and check those out. But that is everything for your NVIDIA control panel. This is the most optimized your NVIDIA control panel could ever be. And I'm talking like they never update this thing so for like the next year you're set